Hey there, we are back. Uh, we're having all sorts of troubles today. Uh, can't, I was about recording uh, this version of King's Quest 3 Let's Play by Sierra Game Scott Part 8, and Cam Studio crashed on us. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I just skipped the part where the wizard left town. Um, I think you guys saw that coming. And what I did was I came into the wizard's area. We're going to his laboratory right now. Um, so this is all pretty much new stuff being recorded in Let's Play. We've finished all the makeup material. Um, and I took the, used the key, and you see that cabinet over on the left-hand side that's kind of orange, just kind of red with uh, yellow corners. Just used the brass key on that, and I got the wizard's magic wand. We need that to cast the spells. I also moved the book here on this um, side of the room where Gideon is standing, and pulled a lever, and that opened the trap door here. So we have to be careful. I did save the game for this purpose beforehand, um, just because you could fall afterwards, like I said, uh, in here, this uh, house is not up to OSHA standards, and of course, uh, I guess Gideon isn't truly an employee, since slavery is, uh, well, not, doesn't make you an employee, and is also illegal in the United States, where OSHA regulations apply. If you fall off a little over here, you just kind of knock your head like that, and if you fall higher, however, or if the cat trips you, uh, you do die, and that is game over. Um, and you have to, what you have to do is you have to look at these shells. And uh, I'm going to actually pause the game, but see all these things at the bottom? It says powdered fishbone, nightshade juice, mandrake root powder, saffron, toad spittle, and toad stool powder. You need all that stuff to cast spells. Um, I also mentioned um, this whole video um, is going to pretty much be me casting spells. I actually found this the most enjoyable part of the... Um, uh, well, not the most enjoyable part, but a fun part of the game. Maybe it's just nostalgia talking. Uh, I also mentioned this is actually the copy protection for this part of the, uh, for this game. Uh, I don't know if it actually asks you anything in the beginning, but you can't beat the game if you don't have the spells, and that is only in the manual. Of course, this game being about 25 years old, um, you can just find all the information on the internet these days. Um, but it was uh, actually one of the more creative and I think more enjoyable parts of um, uh, copy protection. Uh, that you could actually just go on there. You could uh, cast spells. You need the material, but uh, it was actually kind of fun to do it, kind of making recipes and things like that. So uh, I enjoyed it. I remember staying up late and doing this with a friend, uh, casting these spells. It took a while and always making some hilarious um, mistakes that ended up with some hilarious results. So maybe we'll see a few of those along the way. It might take one to two videos to finish it up. And I do want to finish everything up before uh, Man Nan returns and uh, we'll be all set. Um, if you play by yourself, obviously if you don't know what you're doing, it could take much longer. You may do this in piecemeal fashion. We're not going to do that, but we are going to move ahead, and I am going to pause the game and uh, take care of the next portion of, uh, take care of getting these things, and we'll see you with um, us casting some spells. So until then. Okay, we're back, folks. I'm also looking at the side in my uh, web browser so I can see the ingredients, and I'm also making sure I can keep the uh, time as well. And you can't see that because that's not part of the screen I'm capturing. Also, when you do do that, it takes a while, but you can abbreviate things. So instead of taking mandrake root, you can just take take mandrake. Instead of taking fishbone powder, take fishbone, etc., etc. So um, you don't have to type everything out, which is kind of annoying. Anyway, let's just go through the spells as I have them here. The first spell is understanding the language of creatures. Not a spell you need to beat the game, but do a spell you need to get maximum points, and uh, can pick up a few uh, hints, though we already sort of know them if we have the hint guide. Anyway, we are going to make all the spells. There are seven spells in total. Let's get started. So let's, t uh, well, let's uh, save the game first. Okay, now that the game's saved, let's turn to page six. Or page two, I should say. With trembling hands, you turn the pages of sorcery of old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. You know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each must be done in the proper way, in the proper sequence. You tremble in anticipation. In other words, make sure you buy the game. Alright, and I'm turning the sound off. There's actually some annoying sound that they have to make it even more um, difficult. And I, I do remember, actually, it being a pretty tense... Uh, situation, trying to uh, figure all this out, especially with that annoying music in the back. But you don't hear it, I don't hear it, and uh, I think we're good about that. Alright, so let's start. Alright, put small feather in bowl. I had the small feather, don't I? I think I do. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Small feather in bowl. It's difficult to use that, which you do not have. A strange feeling comes over you. You wonder if you could have made a mistake. Well, I, apparently we have made a mistake. 
All right. Well, I promise you some possible hilarious results. Uh, you see them right now. We're all ears now, Gideon. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Well, that's weak. All right. We're not going to start off with that spell. We will come back and maybe do that offline or something. All right. How about flying like an eagle? Look at page four. I'm not sure. I think you just have to find one of those stupid birds' um, feathers in the woods. I missed that. All right. So you get the same deal. Okay. Put pinch of saffron in essence. Now, I don't know if I'll actually do all these, since this may be a little bit boring for you. You carefully sprinkle the precious saffron into the vial of rose petal essence. Let's do one at least. Okay, now we have to say a little chant, and it has to be precise, I believe. And that's why this Unfortunately, this is uh, caps lock. Maybe the death of me. Oh, winged spirits, set me free of. Uh, oh, you have to go to the next line. All right. So I think it has. So the first letter has to be capitalized, and the rest can't be. So that's an extra challenge for us. Of earthly bindings. Just like the. Oops. In this essence, behold the might to. Grant the precious gift of flight. All right, looks like I got in right. Wave magic wand. It with the magic wand or the vial of rose petal essence. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. All right. Well, that's interesting. We've got a little bit of time left, and I'm going to pause for one second. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, I'm going to show you one last spell. I think we can get it in. Uh, this is the most important spell. The rest, I'm going to do it offline. All right, so let's put Mandrake Root in Bowl. Ah, uh, oh, come on. Well, you see, we're turning into a cat. That's not good. Uh, hey folks, we're back. I did all the ingredients. Uh, you can look these up yourself. They're online. Um, apologize if I'm skipping over too much for you, but I don't think uh, let's 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 use our time the best possible. But uh, I'll let you hear the little chant, and I think that'll close out the video. Mandrake root and hair of cat. Mix oil of fish and give pat you pat the dough into a cookie form. Oh come on, you gotta be kidding me, I didn't Alright. Well the, here's the chant. It's mandric root and hair of cat. Mix oil of fish and give a pat. A feline from the one who eats this appetizing magic treat. I don't have a rhyme, but uh, maybe I'll have one for the next video. Uh, to express my frustration and annoyance at various things my computer has presented me with, uh, not the least of all, or maybe the least of all, uh, not being able to properly enter this little uh, little chant and move on to the next part of the game. Um, however, you will see me after I'm done with this frustration, and we will be back in video number nine. So until then, uh, the CR Game Scott beating his computer with his fists. And uh, we'll be seeing you next time for Let's Play King's Quest 3, if this uh, hardware is still standing. Talk to you later. Bye.